friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bithumelo Makogoshiani, the creator of the Be Smart Budget and your sister in budgeting. If you're new to this channel, please, please click on the subscribe button. I would appreciate it and it's free. And to my returning subscribers, hey friends. <laughs> so guys, today I want to talk about four major life events that could impact your finances, okay? So at most times we often plan for, we often plan and anticipate certain things in our lives like with the education you can anticipate it but with the other three major events in life you cannot really anticipate them so you now need to be financially prepared for them so with when you are putting together your 2023 goals make sure that all of these things, all of these four major events are catered for in your budget or in your financial plan, okay? So please note, none of my videos is, should be considered as financial advice. If you are seeking financial advice, speak to someone who's certified and registered with the FSCA. All right, so major a major life event number one your education or your child's education. So education is very expensive and we all know that it could get really expensive, especially in South Africa, the average cost of education, of tertiary level education is 40 to 40,000 to 70,000. And that is quite a lot of money. That is money that you do not have lying around for three straight years that you are paying each year towards your child's degree, you know? The best way to start saving is for you to have a custodial account and start saving now. You know, um, yes, you might not have raised 300000 by the time your child goes to school. That is going to cover all the costs. But the little that you're going to have is going to assist you with textbook, textbooks. It's going to assist you with all the other things that they are going to need for their tertiary level education. So every cent is really going to count. So whatever amount of money that you are currently putting away is going to count. So look at all these investment companies and what they are offering and then go and um, you take a custodial account for your child, you know. And then the other life event is personal injury or la or, or or illness or even and you know or if or, or in their set could lead to disability. So how do you prepare for this? You prepare for this by having a dread disease cover dread disease and disability cover you take this out with um a, a, rep a reputable institution okay you ensure yourself or even your loved ones you are making sure that they are going to be taken care of even if yourself you yourself you stop working or your loved one stops working there is an insurance that is going to cover them especially if you have people that are dependent on you it is very important to have an illness and dread disease um, and disability cover very very important so you need to go out there and prepare for such things that could because they could happen you know so in case of it happening make sure that you have uh, this and then number three is death or illness of a loved one we can never be so prepared for death um, emotionally and everything but i think financially we can be prepared for death should anything happen to us god forbid anytime soon if you have dependents it is advisable that you get a life cover so that in events of your death your children can be taken care of and then um have a will in place and um, appoint an executor. So appoint someone that is going to be a caregiver to your kids and that your children and everybody else and the state and the court knows where your assets are going. So you need to put all these things in place. And then the other thing you can add on is a funeral cover for your family because you will not always have cash that is lying around should anything happen to one of your family members. So go out and have a funeral cover that covers your whole family so that your whole family is taken care of even in time of death. Life, you know, the last major life event that could happen is economic hardship. 
okay you might be the hardest worker at your workplace but economic hardship is going to happen where your company is going to downsize you are go you could be fired or um you could even be retrenched you know when the down the downsizing happens these are things that could happen anytime and you do not have control over so what you can do to plan for these is by having an emergency fund in a case where you are fired the most important thing is to have an emergency fund that has the core living expenses like your core i mean not your ones but all your needs in in uh, for uh, for three to six months a worth of living or core living expenses you know in a form of, a, of an emergency fund so that is how an emergency fund is going to help you while you look for a job or you have been demoted and you have been demoted and you no longer earn the same salary that you have so that is an economic hardship that you cannot control but having an emergency fund gives you a cushion it protects you from um getting into debt or losing most of your assets in the process that is what an emergency fund is going to help you and then a bonus point is um, even when an emergency fund will even help you if you are changing careers, like you are starting a business. We all know that entrepreneurship is not pop and flace. Hasidiket or hasinantwan, you know, so it is going to require some hard work before you start getting a return on your investment or even start turning a profit. So in that in that moment, what do you do? You have an emergency fund to live off. It's going to to help you in cases like that so make sure that you are building an emergency fund and guys when you are doing your financial planning and uh, you are looking at your finances it is very important to be objective you know um put your emotions and everything aside and be objective so if you do not have any any of these things in place when you are doing your financial planning for 2023 and you are setting your goals and you are doing and you you are creating your budget Project and all of that make sure that you have all of these in place it is going to help you in the long run you know so um i hope this video was helpful do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye